Hello friend, my name is Sunil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how the VM store the payload into a file. So let's make it as a mule VM file store. Keeping resting as default, let's create the mule project. Fine. First of all, let's use the HTTP connector at the request and configure it as default so that we can get the request keeping all thing as default and make it that is as a file store let's save it then we will use our vm and put it into the process block and let's configure the vm so the exchange pattern the most important point is one way it means that this is a one way i will explain how this vm will behave differently in the case of one way exchange pattern and in the case of request response case pattern when it will store the payload into a file so queue path will be sunil let's make the connector configuration say i can store maximum 100 message and the queue store i will use this file queue store okay keeping rex thing as default if i save it right and now run it so the path for this http connector we have used in the postman so let's run this project till the time is application is deployed let's configure this postman so this is my body this will be the url to hit it let's wait till the time application is deployed so once the application is deployed it automatically create a file where the vm store the payload so this will be is under dot mule folder if i go to dot mule folder and i can see mule file store the name of the project inside it automatically q store will get created and over here by the name of the path of the vm so in our case it is sunil so by the name of sunil it will create a file store over there so let's hit our first request if i hit the request okay if i go to the console okay i received the request if I go to my queue store, I code the request and it store that request into a VM and this is my token payload. So over here it store into the VM the payload is. So if I do it say four time, okay, every all the request which is there it is being stored. So right now the size file size is 3 KB if i do refresh file size increased and if i see i can see the number of the request should get increased by this time so it should get refreshed okay so i can see the multiple requests are being stored in this file by the vm now let's see how it will behave in the case of request response if i set the exchange pattern as request response then i will create the another flow which will receive this request okay so i configure this vm again as request response make the same queue path use the same character configuration so that as well as i will use the set payload just to setting the payload making it as subflow some value and save it once we'll save it it's automatically get redeployed let's wait for it now the application is deployed if i hit the request i got the subflow but in this case 
any number of the time I will hit VM will not store these payload into the file store so we can see the size of the file is not getting increased so in the case of one way it is storing all the requests into the file but in the case of request response VM in the case of file storage will not store the payload and just pass it to the uh, uh, as a outbound and the inbound VM will accept it so it will not get stored thanks for watching thank you